There are many volcanoes in the world, however many are on the ocean floor. Most volcanoes, whether on land or underwater, are located where tectonic plates meet. In fact, the Ring of Fire is a path that traces the tectonic plate boundaries. No matter their size or shape, all volcanoes emit gas and molten rock. Major types include stratovolcanoes, which frequently take the form of tall, steep mountains, shield volcanoes, which are flatter, dome-shaped calderas, which are sizable depressions in the ground, and mid-ocean ridges, which are underwater chains of volcanic mountains. The source of these emissions is deep within the Earth's core, which can burn as hot as the surface of the sun. The Earth's core radiates heat into the surrounding rocky mantle, melting some of the rock in the process. Because the molten rock, or magma, is lighter than the solid rock layer below it, it rises through the mantle and causes volcanic eruptions. Music, lava volcanoes may erupt with searing hot gas created in the mantle in a phenomenon known as pyroclastic flow, in addition to reaching temperatures of exceeding 2000 degrees Fahrenheit and being known above ground as lava. When this gas is coupled with heated ash, a volcano's sides can erupt at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, consuming everything in its path. The Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, developed by scientists to quantify and categorize eruptions, takes into account a number of variables, including the volume of lava gas and other emissions from the volcano as well as the height of the eruption cloud above the volcano summit. Music, the Ve scale starts at zero, but because each magnitude is ten times stronger than the one before, the scale grows exponentially. The Ve scale does not have a maximum limit. Although V8 is the classification given to the most disastrous eruptions so far recorded, the most damaging volcanic explosion ever seen took place in Indonesia in 1815. These eruptions took place thousands and even millions of years ago. With a V measurement of 7, the large stratovolcano Mount Tambora erupted, causing earthquakes, tsunamis, and pyroclastic flows that decimated the land and claimed thousands of Indonesian lives. The eruption even destroyed Mount Tambora summit, turning the 13,000-foot-tall mountain into a 3,640-foot deep caldera. Music, volcanoes, although being among of nature's most destructive forces, have contributed to the possibility of life on Earth. Volcanic activity has contributed to the terraforming of the globe, creating the rich, dynamic environment we see today. Volcanic ash fertilizes neighboring soil, making it fertile, while lava, as it cools, solidifies into rock and produces new landforms using heat from the Earth's core. Imagine turning on the news to learn that several popular tourist destinations have vanished off the face of the planet, that millions of people are homeless, that a massive cloud of ash and smoke has turned the sky black, that all air traffic has ceased, and that the climate is about to change. Hello and welcome to Z and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. You can't believe what you see or hear. The tale has already been told. Vesuvius has once more awakened and humanity is still unsure of what to do. How accurate is this image? How extensive would the damage be if the planet's most famous volcano erupts once more? Which cities will be affected? How many people will perish? How much will it cost humanity? The only active volcano in continental Europe, Vesuvius has erupted numerous times and is regarded as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, and this is not just because of the case of Pompeii. About 3 million people live close to Vesuvius, and 800,000 of them are in the so-called red zone. Do you understand what this is all pointing to? We have a volcano that is considered active, meaning that it occasionally erupts, and there are many people living at its base. 
Additionally, Vesuvius is situated above a sizable magma reservoir that is buried deep beneath the Earth and has an area of about 400 square kilometers, or 154 square miles. This is the area surrounding the volcano that will be affected first. You cannot outrun the eruption even if the streams are predicted to accelerate to roughly 160 kilometers per hour, or 100 miles per hour, if not even quicker. Scientists theorize that during the destruction of Pompeii, the volcano released six distinct pyroclastic emissions, causing a massive area to be immediately affected. At the same time, a huge pillar of smoke and ashes would rise up, reaching a height of 32 kilometers or 20 miles. During the eruption, a tremendous amount of thermal energy is released, killing many people in a matter of seconds. People can't defend themselves against something with such natural power. Everything I've described here will happen very quickly, possibly in just 15 minutes. The only thing people can do is flee. Houses can be buried under a thick layer of pumice and volcanic ash in places, reaching up to 20 meters or 66 feet. Most likely the roofs of homes will not withstand such weight and will crush anyone who decides to hide inside. According to the Italian National Institute of Statistics, more than 3 million tourists visit this region each year. As a result, the eruption will become a tragedy for the entire planet, and mourning will be declared around the globe. Naples, like other cities near the volcano, can only become a memorial if we don't evaluate on time, killing hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. The most hazardous area near the volcano is the Red Zone. It will be nearly impossible to survive here, so when Vesuvius starts to erupt again, the Italian government will conduct an urgent evacuation. The plan calls for the use of buses and cars, but trains and other forms of public transportation are also included. Beginning in 2004, the government created a scheme of subsidies to the populace in an effort to actively reduce the population near Vesuvius by removing illegal constructions and establishing a national park surrounding the volcano. There is a possibility of receiving 46,000 US dollars for each local who agrees to leave the red zone, but few people seem to wish to do so. However, there is something much worse than the Vesuvius eruption, the Flagrant Fields. Imagine what would happen if the Flagrant Fields were to awaken today when the Earth's population density is much higher if something like this really happens the eruption of Vesuvius will seem like just a small nuisance. The last time the volcano erupted was in the 16th century, but even earlier it was the flag ray and fields together with a few other volcanoes that caused such a disaster that resulted in the Neanderthals dying out. Imagine that something similar could happen in the modern world if measures are not taken. I wouldn't wish this even upon my worst enemy. According to open sources, this was enough to kill people in a matter of seconds because the temperature was so high that all the bodily fluids and tissues in the bodies of the victims simply evaporated. If you want to learn more about the effects of previous volcanoes erupting in our time, discuss it in the comments section of the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Click the bell swiftly to get alerts when new, intriguing videos are ready for you.